Alright, so it's time to put the finishing touches on our page. Currently, this is what we have, and we want to get closer to this. Now, what we need to do, uh, first thing, is actually add a background. And for this background, what it is, is I created a, a textured background. It's a small 30 by 30 pixel file that I'm just repeating all over the place. Uh, by, by all over the place, I mean in the X and Y axis. Uh, it, the stuff in the middle, the white, it, that's actually transparent. So whatever I change my background to is going to be that white. So just the lines are my picture. And pretty simple. That Let's see. Let me go back to my design. All right. Let me start by hiding my DL again in my, uh, in my jQuery or my JavaScript. And now I'm going to add to the background, to the body actually, I'm going to add a background picture. It's going to be this textured picture I created. Actually, let me sh show you real quick on my desktop what it looks like. That's just it. This is just a picture I'm going to use. And see how it's, well, the gray just means that it's uh, transparent. So let's go ahead and set that up. All right. Put this in my images folder. I'll replace the one I had. I was working on it before. So there we go. Now, as you can see, it's I have that just square lines over there. And I should I should also just show you how now if I want to change my uh, background color. What's good cool is that my my image doesn't interfere with that. I'll still have the same thing. Now I don't want this look, but if I wanted to change something subtly, um, with the transparency on the background image allows me to do that pretty quickly. Let me delete that. Oops. That's just that's that new feature that doesn't actually delete it. It just disables it, which is cool. But I don't need it. Okay. There we go. Let me save that and see where I'm at again. Okay. Now, you'll notice some other subtle effect. You see this? Every time I refresh the finished product, it kind of fades in. Well, that's done with a jQuery script. You notice how the current one I have just loads up automatically. Well, jQuery has a cool uh, fade-in effect. And I'm going to show you how to set that up for yourself for when your page actually loads. I'm going to go... so. Obviously, I have to go to my to my script.js to to put this call in. But let's just think it through. What we're going to do here is actually hide the body, and then we're going to have to fade it in. So let's start with a, a well first just to target our body, and that's with the uh, dollar sign parentheses and single quote inside. We're targeting the body, and just like we hide the dictionary list we're gonna hide the body now let's see what that does for us when I refresh this okay now everything's gone on our page I mean gone visually because it's not being rendered but if you look at the source code all the code is still there um, but now we want to fade it in since we have it hidden so let's see so we could go to a new line and we could do dollar sign and again we're going to target the body and we'll do fade in and let's see what that looks like alright well that's pretty cool look at that and that gives us the exact effect that we're looking for every time I refresh it it fades in now let me just draw something to your attention you notice how two lines next to each other we first hide the body and then we fade it in we have it on two separate lines well jQuery allows us to chain events together and since this is going to take place on both of these um, I mean these two uh, functions are both going to take place on the body immediately after each other you could take away this second uh, targeting tag and bring it all the way up to that semicolon and and here you go you've just chained 
the hide and fade in effect. So you targeted the body, you added the hide function, and then immediately after the hide function, instead of terminating it with a semicolon, you added fade in. And now this should give us the same effect. You see, it just fades it in. And of course, you can add parameters to both of these effects. I mean, let's just add something extreme over here. And when you refresh it, ah, you see a little unexpected behavior over there. Maybe even get a different result in a different browser. Who knows? You ought to check that out. No, same thing. But you see how it how you fade it in and fade it out. Now, of course, this is not very cool, and there's a certain amount of subtlety you want to put in any of these. So, um, I like the fading in effect, but I certainly don't want it to happen at that quick of a delay. I think that's pretty cool. And that pretty much gets you uh, a nice effect every time someone comes to that page.